Hello again, everyone. Today I am here with a Yoseka stationery unboxing. I was originally planning to take everything out of the box and do it that way, but everything was kind of, if I took it out of the box, the surprise would be ruined for me and for you. So I decided to leave it in the original box and just take everything out here on camera. So the first off there is this little envelope, which I'm not quite sure what's in here yet. So I'm gonna open that at the end after I've taken everything out of here. So, and then I have some Sailor Haha -ha ink that I've been waiting for for a while. Okay, good, that's wrapped, so that'll be a surprise for you all. And then I ordered a different ink, the um, Neko Yanagi, I think is how you say that. Uh, it is a purplish ink. I'm not going to be swatching these today. I'm going to do a separate video where I swatch these. Although you've probably already seen the Haha ha ink in a swatch from me before, just because uh, I had a sample of that from a prior order. So let me see. Okay, there's one more thing in here, I think. I think that's it. And, and that is another ink. That is a Shikiori ink. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it is a lovely um, green ink. So I will open these boxes, but I am not going to swatch them today. So I'm going to put the box aside. And I'm going to save this for last because I'm sure you will all be interested in what that is once I open it. So, for, oh, again, they, they, make, they have such lovely washi tape. I don't even know where, I've never seen this before, this animal washi tape. But I'm gonna put that on my table over here and then put it on my um, bullet journal, probably. Okay, let's see. Oh, right, and I ordered a little eraser. I, that's what it was. I'd order a little tough eraser, break resistant plastic erasers. I like erasers of this size. They fit really well in little travel watercolor sketch uh, kits and that sort of thing, so that's why I wanted to get that one. I'll go ahead and put that aside. And then another little letter here. <laughs> oh, this was actually two separate orders that they combined into one, by the way. <laughs> they said, thank you for your order and pre-orders. We are so excited for you to try your new Twisby fountain pen. Uh-oh, <laughs> the, the jig is up. Okay. This limited Prussian blue color is so gorgeous and we're happy that you like, and we're happy that you like it too. Um, the inks that you are getting are such pretty colors and we hope you enjoy everything. Oh, and they've included some ink collection cards which I can swatch my ink on. Oh, I wonder if this is uh, Tomoe River paper because it's really slick. That's very nice. They always send a very nice note. Oh, and just um, fun fact. So I unboxed a uh, little stamp set, a letter stamp set not too long ago from Yoseka Stationery, and they've been making these little stamps with that stamp set. So I really need to get that out and start doing some stuff with it. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so, <laughs> and I, it says new pen day <laughs> on the top. That's very sweet. Okay, this is why I order from them. They're always super sweet. I'm gonna actually put these in my um, little notebook where I'm keeping my fountain pen ink swatches. I'm not sure what I'll use them for now, but it's definitely good to have some extra little swatch sheets like that. So I'm gonna put those aside. All right, so the surprise has been ruined, but now you will be able to see it in all its glory. <laughs> I suppose I could have not read that to you all, but they always say such nice things and I feel like it's nice to share. Okay, let's see if I can actually get this one off without completely tearing it, maybe. I think this tissue paper might be a little too thin to save the washi there, but let me see. I'll work on that later. Okay. So, oh, more, more washi tape. I think I'm not gonna save this one. I think these are, these are toast. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put aside that. And then as indicated, this is the new Twisby 580 Special Edition. Um, okay, I'm gonna need my scissors there to open that. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna go across. 
those stickers are always, I never know how to get those off, whether I should, I probably should have a little knife here, but I only have one knife like that and it's by the door to actually open the packages. Okay, so we have all the information about the diamond uh, piston filling fountain pen. And I can tell you right now, I am super duper happy with this color. Super duper happy. Let me get all this packaging out of the way here. This is like my favorite blue color. And of course, <laughs> the suspense. The suspense is killing me. Okay, and usually I can just lift up one side. So let's see, should I take it out there? Yeah. This is gorgeous. And these are one of the pen cases that I'm not sure if I want to keep. I mean, they're very nice pen cases, but am I ever going to use them again? I mean, maybe if I sell my pens, I should keep them, keep the cases for that, but I'm not sure I'm going to sell my pens. But so here is this lovely, lovely Twisby Diamond 580 in the Prussian blue. Prussian blue is really one of my all-time favorite blues. It's a little bit green, um, but it's not a teal. It has just a, t a hint of green in it, and it's really, really lovely. And what I'm already noticing is that this little cap part has a texture. I'm gonna see if you can... It has, normally that's smooth, and it has a texture. I've actually heard people comment on this, and I think the same texture is on the inside grip. Yes. So, oh, I actually really like that. I was watching a, um, yeah, I really like that. I really like the feel of that. I, I'm, I'm not wed to a smooth um, grip area there. I was watching one of the videos from Goulet Pens. I think it was one of the um, right time at nine or so, something where they just do a Q and A and that sort of thing. Um, look it up if you're interested. They've, they've been doing that. They've, I'm not sure if they're still doing it as of the time of this video, but they've been doing a few. Um, Rachel Goulet was talking about how she absolutely hated the texture on this, but I, I actually love it. I, I love the feel of that. It, it actually gives me like little tinglies when I feel it. <laughs> so, so you've all heard of ASMR, right? So, so I definitely think that I am one of those people who is very susceptible to ASMR. And it's not just sounds, although sounds is definitely a part of it. It is uh, the feel of certain things. And I, I also really like to be touched. Um, in an appropriate way, of course, but <laughs> but I like human touch a lot, and that's that's partially why it's so hard during all this social distancing because I do like to touch people, hug people. Again, all in an appropriate way, mind you. But uh, but tactile things also have that same sort of I, I have that same sort of reaction. So like just touching this was like giving me little goosebumps. It was really weird. <laughs> So, for those of you who are uh, have the whole ASMR thing going on, get one of these. Um, anyway, it's it's also when when I got had the Monteverde Ritma fountain pen and I kept popping it, same kind of deal. It's like it's not just the sound; it's like the the reaction to that. Anyway, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry; it, just ignore it. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> All right, um, although I will go off on another tangent, which is, so I would often put on forensic files to help me go to sleep because the original series, the guy, while, while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna put my hand there so you can actually see the nib. So um, the guy who narrates the old forensic files has a voice that is very much like, oh, I feel so calm, even though he's talking about death and murder and all that kind of stuff. But, um, so they did, that guy died several years ago. I mean, he was very old and he, he just died. It was his time, I suppose. But, um, the new narrator that they got, they started Forensic Files 2. And the new narrator is just god awful. He's awful. <laughs> he, they did not know about the ASMR thing. And I was like, oh man, you didn't know about the ASMR thing. I thought you did. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm very disappointed in the new Forensic Files too. Now it's just annoying and about murder and killing 
Uh, anyway, so that was my <laughs> little aside. And I should probably tell you what size this nib is. I think it's, no, I got a fine because I don't have a fine in the 580. So I figured I would get a fine. And also I figured if I don't like it, I can always swap it out. I actually have, I mean, I only have one extra now, but I, I have a bold or a, yeah, a bold nib that I just have laying around for these and they're all interchangeable. When you take them off, this little uh, colored part comes off. So, and then you put that on the new nib replacement. So you're never going to be without the special edition piece here, um, but you can swap your nibs out. So I figured I'd try fine. And like I said, if I don't like it, I can totally swap it out. So uh, I'm not gonna test this out today. I'm gonna do a separate video on inking this out and testing it. And then um, I'm also gonna do a separate video of testing these inks. I'm not sure what ink to put in this yet. So I have to think about that. Um, I kind of do wanna go matchy matchy if I can. I'm sure I have something that might be this color. So, um, oh, before I go, I was gonna open these inks so you could see the bottles. This is turning into a longer unboxing than I planned. So, so here is the uh, Manyo Haha from Sailor. And um, guess what else I have on my table? Another bottle of Manyo Haha from Sailor. Um, so <laughs> the reason this is, uh, is because I was, so this one is from Goulet Pens and this one is from uh, Yoseka Stationery, obviously, because that's what this unboxing is. And I, Goulet Pens was still really behind and, but I purchased the bottle of HaHa because they came back in stock there. And I thought it's gonna take me a really long time to get that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another bottle from Yoseka Stationery. And of course the, um, the Goulet Pens bottle of ink came came like immediately. <laughs> and then I was waiting on the one from Yoseka Stationery because they held my order, which is fine, until um, the new Diamond Special Edition 580 came in because I pre-ordered it. So now I have two lovely bottles of lovely ink. Um, and I think I might end up just filling a whole bunch of pens with this ink because it is really beautiful. And I will do a, another video later, perhaps just profiling this ink, but I put this ink in a Jinhao um, Sparkling Sands, and it actually looks fabulous coming out of that pen. So I was a little surprised. But anyway, so now I have two bottles of these. And then this is the other bottle of ink, and this is a more purplish one. And again, I will do some swatching in a separate video of this one. And this is another one that has some really good shading on it, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. I, I had, do not have a sample of this, so this will be, I just got this based on a recommendation of this is a good shading ink, so we'll see. I'll put those down in the view there. And then this little cutie is another sailor ink and it comes with a little let's see sometimes they have little oh uh, yeah they sort of do I mean they're they're not samples of the ink but they show you the different ones these are all the shikiori line these are the same colors as the markers that I got that I unboxed in a previous video so um, because I did like this color so much in the marker I decided to get it in the fountain pen ink and let's see does it have the, oh, it's written in Japanese on the label, It's but it's written in English here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so it's this one. So it's sort of a, um, hmm, I would say sort of a muted green, hard to tell. But anyway, I will do another video where I talk about these as well. Perhaps I'll do all the sailor inks together in one video. All right, so now I have tons of packaging here. <laughs> I'm gonna put all those off to the side. Thank you for watching. I hope I didn't bore you talking about forensic files and ASMR. Um, on, the, on the topic of ASMR, if you know of any videos or shows or anything that are known for being ASMR uh, friendly, please let me know. Um, obviously Bob Ross, you know, I'm aware of Bob Ross and, uh, forensic files, but other than that, I don't really know of any shows like mainstream shows 
that um, hit that ASMR spot. So just let me know if you know of any. Well, with that, thank you for watching. Feel free to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.